Hello, what's up, what's happening? Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, we have another epic gameplay. That's how we do here. But first, before we get into that, look at the cover. Downed. Number number nine, Texas Tech. Number nine, Texas Tech loses to Big 12 rival Missouri. That sucks for them. We're not on the cover because we haven't done anything just yet. But we are going to try to get this four-star middle linebacker. We're going to be talking about location. Also, we're going to talk about location with the homie Isaiah. He's from PA, which is a neighboring state of Ohio. And once you create those pipelines, you can talk locations. Surprisingly enough, we do have a pipeline to Florida. But I haven't used location for that because I don't think it's going to work. But with neighboring states, I do think it does work. Now, both guys, middle linebacker and cornerback, are looking at Ohio State and Michigan. I went with location just because, again, to me, it works probably around 75% of the time for guys that are inside of your state or close to your state. doesn't always work, but I would say around 70 75% it does work. And when your program gets really good, it works a little bit more around like 80 to 85% consistently. But again, it does not always work because some people don't care about location like that. So I got that Yahoo! Is that hurt? And then Lee forgot his hands back on the bus. But my users have gotten a tab bit crispier sometimes i like this hit or miss you know what i'm saying but i think my batting average for my users is stepping up just a little bit kirkpatrick on fun with the football you gotta hang on to the football in that scenario he doesn't do that it's not a good look but then kirkpatrick get, getting busy on the dance floor trying to get one of those ladies to stop posting on the wall and get up over here and let's do our thug fizzle on the dance floor you feel me i know you do second down and five blair goes up the gut nothing doing so third down and two we're looking to score and we score baby touchdown lee touchdown passing game touchdown ken state we're over here doing our thing holland he's trying to do his thing as well north and south untouched to the 50 to the 40 brought down by heart Thank you very much. So from the 34-yard line, they take over. And then Harold, the other impact player, is gone. Just like that. They tie the game up. Now, we struggle versus Ball State a little bit. They only had one win. Miami of Ohio, it's the same It's the same scenario. And somehow we are just going blow for blow, toe for toe. And I really don't like that. But it's okay because it makes for a good game play at the end of the day. Blair up the gut north and south. He's a monster. He might rush for the most yards this season, not just for the team, not just for the conference, but the whole country, dog. We are not internationally known, but we're USA known, like country-wise, nationally, nationally known. That's what we want. So, Neil, he, he's going to be freshman. He's going to be on the all-freshman team, no doubt about it. I think he's going to be on the all-freshman team for all Americans. That would be a good look. Kirkpatrick throwing that thing and he's throwing that thing well he has a chance to be an all-american as well blair can't get out of that tackle so now we're looking at third down and we're gonna come through because we have to i can i will i must y'all remember that anyways kirkpatrick throwing that thing pope makes the catch we're in the end zone we are peeing on our own goal post i don't know why they do that i wish i just wish I wish we were smarter than that, but anyways, man, I also wish that we had some better special teams players, because at this point, that this is how they stayed in the game. This is how they stayed in the game. This is also how Ball State stayed in the game. My gosh. Anyways, man, we get a good kick return ourselves. Second down and 10. Kirkpatrick letting it fly, and they were straight hating on Kirkpatrick. And now it's going to be third down and 10. Kirkpatrick rolling out again, throwing it deep to Williams. His passes are just marvelous they're on point and on target every single time not every single time like not right here but more times than not my man is putting it on the money and remember he's still just a freshman yes a red shirt freshman but still just a freshman none the less first down and 10 from the 12 yard line Kirkpatrick trying to turn the corner he will turn that corner and we're inside the five with the first down in our back pocket give it to the true freshman fullback Rodgers he goes nowhere Second down and goal, we go somewhere as we cross the goal line. He can do it all. He can run it for you. He can pass it for you. He could probably even play a little bit receiver if I wanted him to. Maybe we have to do that with Penn. But he only has like 70-something speed, so I don't know. But, I mean, he is fast for a quarterback. But for a receiver, I'm not sure. Anyways, man, that pass is caught. This receiver got some moves. And Bozeman going to take that thing to the crib. Touch 
down, and we are all tied up at 21 apiece. Again, again, another tie game. Blair, what a spin move right there. I'm telling you, my players have some genius in their ankles. They know what to do. They know how to maneuver the football down the field, matriculate that thing, as they say. Second down and three. We get stopped right before the first down marker. So third and inches, we're going to run that option, and we run the option to perfection. QB takes the hit. The Blair, the Blair, the running back Blair catches the football via the pitch and picks up a little bit more. Now we run the ball, and Flores goes backwards. So Kirkpatrick going to roll out, sets his feet, looking for Morgan, makes the catch, breaks a tackle, and proceeding down the field with greatness on his mind. Kirkpatrick going to roll out one more time. Kirkpatrick feeling fine. Probably should have tried to cut back right there. I really tried to get out of bounds, but hey, third down and one. Look at the pitch, and then he goes gets a block, and he can block. He can pass, he can run, and he can block Kirkpatrick doing it all on that play. Yes, I know he didn't score the touchdown, but he might as well get credit for it. My goodness gracious, that pass broken up by the homie Holly, and that's what we needed. Second down and 10, they run a draw play. Harold getting loose, weaving through traffic like your mama knew hair do. And they're going to pick up a first down. Ball's at the fifth. They let it spin. And that pass should have been a yahoo, they heard. But even when I'm in position and I click A, not A, but triangle at the right time, I still don't get no love. Bozeman, he's getting all kinds of love, man. He's out here doing his thing, as you can see. Now they're going to take a shot deep, break coverage right there by the homie Morris. It's third down and nine from the 34-yard line. Miami of Ohio goes to the air again, and we're playing shut down out there, and that's what you got to do. They're going to go for it on fourth and nine. I dare you. I double dog. Dang it, they got it, and we're in trouble. So from the 24-yard line, they throw that thing. Good blocking, but better execution by the defense. Just hustling. Just sometimes you have to hustle. No talent needed for hustling. We got a tackle, though. I thought I was going to get an animation. I hit the man. I hit him, but maybe I just got to dive more. I don't like to dive because when you miss, when you dive, it just looks bad, and I don't want to show the clip on YouTube. Anyways, looking downfield, Kirkpatrick, he's going to keep it up to the 30. Crosses the, no, he's not going to cross the 40 because he slides down. Protect yourself, I guess, is good for your health. Kirkpatrick stopping and popping Williams on the receiving end of a marvelous missile, a Dawkins dime. That boy is really, really good. It is now second down and eight. Kirkpatch is going to roll out. He can run if he wants to. He's now he's going to set his feet, fires it to the homie Williams, who makes another catch, and it's another first down. First and goal. Kirkpatch crosses the goal line, feeling fine, and it's 35 to 28, and there's still time left in the first half. 28 seconds to be exact. And we kick the ball deep and they get to the 25. So I guess we catch a break the way our special teams have been playing so far this season. Give me that Yahoo! Zay, her, mama, I got two of them. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got this thing going back the other way. Now we're at the nine yard line. Quick pass. And Lee is in the end zone yet again. Touchdown pass. Another one for the great Ronnie Kirkpatrick. So we kick the ball deep with about five seconds on the clock. And boy, I was hoping somebody will want to earn the scholarship today. But no, it did not happen. It did not happen. He takes it to the crib last play of the first half, and it's going to be 42 to 35 going in to the second half. I'm really just trying to wonder how this team only has one win, and they're pushing us to the brink. And it's not like we're playing on the road. I would get it if we're playing on the road. Got a young quarterback, whatever. You know, the composure meter does matter. But it's like, we're, we are the home team. We just left our dorms. Girlfriends are there. Mama is there. We're feeling happy. And we're just not. I mean, the offense playing good. Defense outside of the users and the special teams is just, is just bad. Defense and the special teams are not living up to what I need. But it's okay. That's why we are recruiting D-tackle, middle linebacker, and cornerback. And hopefully we can get them to sign. If we lose them, then we lose them. I'm hoping that we don't. The Kirkpatrick crosses the goal line. Touchdown. He has three rushing. I believe as of right now, three passing as well. Could be wrong about that. But I think he is out here having himself a, a just beautiful day. Okay? Give me that Yahoo! Zay Her. Did you see that break on the football? telling you, my users are improving. Deep passes, not so much. Like those streaks right down the field, those nine routes, I still struggle. But when I can jump it, oh, it's a pretty thing. 
I mean, Dawkins, we just know how to play that safety. You feel me? Second down and two. We're going to throw that thing to lead. We get up to the five-yard line. And baby, 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 we're out here doing our thing. Blair, he gets stopped. Not doing our thing on that play. So third down and goal. And we run the option into no avail. We have to settle for a field goal. I tried to get into the end zone. I tried, but we failed. It's okay. 52-35 is the score. We are starting to separate from Miami of Ohio. Now we get a sack from Williams. Forces the ball out. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You're built for a tough Ford. I need my sponsor. Taking the shot deep. That pass will fall incomplete. Third down and 16 from the seven-yard line. Taking the shot deep. Good coverage. Tight window in the court. And, of course, we slammed the window shut. It was already tight. Let's just close it all the way. Neil going against the grain, up to the 30, up to the 20. What a run. Nothing doing to the left side. Cuts it back to the right. And we cooking, baby. Grease all over the place. Third down and three. Get into the end zone. Kirkpatrick in that G thing again. It's just, it's just, it's just at this point. No one says it's too easy. But at this point, it is awfully not difficult. First down and 10. Looking downfield. Letting it fly. Has a man with the step, and it was a perfect pass. And sometimes, or almost every time, a perfect pass is going to be good defense. Every single time. That's some good defense, though. Or some good special teams. I mean, depending on how you look at it, right? Is it a special teams play or is it a defensive play when they go for two? I don't know. All I do know is that when they went for the onside kick, we stopped them, and that is a good look for us. Neil gets the carry, and Neil picks up six. Third down and four. Kirkpatrick, he's going to keep it. He's weaving through traffic, and he has himself a nice game. Now we're going to go up that gap with Blair, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Everybody's dancing, whether they got rhythm or not. First down and 10. They throw it. Big hit. Ball is loose. We will recover it. We will put in our backups, and we will kick a field goal because they called a timeout. You can call a timeout when there's, like, no time left. I'm going to kick a field goal, and I'm going to run it up just a little bit. I do hope you all remember that and come with the sauce next time you see what Kirkpatrick did only missed on four passes three touchdowns over 100 something yards and of course uh, our homie Penn he was one for one that's all I need from you baby that's all I need Blair 178 yards Kirkpatrick 141 and then my man Neil chipping in with over 100 that is a solid day of running the football it might be a little old school you know what I mean? We don't really run the option a lot, a lot. So you can't really say it's like Navy or, you know, Georgia Tech, you know, in the early early to mid-2000s, if you will. Or no, really not mid. I'm dating myself. No. All I know is we got everybody to sign. But Georgia Tech, like, in the mid-2010s, right? That's when they were really like a three-option uh, team. Anyways, you see it. Middle linebacker, cornerback, ND tackle. They all come to town. Look, look what happens when you start winning. People just want to come to a winner. It might not really, they might not care about the conference. They just want to be with a winning program. They see what we're building here, and they want to come sign on that dotted line. We're gonna be playing on. We're gonna be playing Bowling Green next week. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace, love, hot sauce.